as requested by one of my subscribers I'm going to show you how you can use remote desktop but the question is why do you need to use remote desktop just imagine if this computer is located to another room maybe another floor and you need to configure something copy something you want to say something but it's in another floor you need to stand up and go there this is where the magic of remote desktop happens you can sit in front of your computer and you can remotely control the other computer I'm going to show you two laptops let's start with this laptop just locate the this PC icon like this one on other versions you can see that one as my computer just right click this one go for properties and then advanced system settings click on this and then you can see a remote tab here you click on remote tab and then we can allow remote connections to this computer and then we press OK apply okay after enabling the remote desktop of this laptop one thing we need to make sure of is we are connected to a network now this is connected to my home network you can see the Wi-Fi connection here if you are using a Ethernet cable make sure you are connected the next thing we are going to do is to find out the IP address this laptop is using there are a number of ways you can find that IP address but I always prefer doing this one just go to the search here click and then type CMD you can see there CMD appeared let's click CMD and then just simply type IP config and then press enter if you are using Ethernet adapter it means you are using Ethernet cable now in our case we are using wireless LAN try to locate IPv4 address now that's the IP address this computer is using that is 192.168.254.126 we are going to use this computer to remotely connect here what we'll do is go to the search bar down here and type remote desktop once we have searched for remote desktop click for that one and then we are going to type for the IP address here so I'm going to type 192.168.254.126 once we have already typed that one we can press the connect button and then it's going to ask for the username and password so we need to put the username and then the password Once you input the password, press OK. And then it will connect, it will pop this mini window. Just press yes. And then you can see there this computer locked out. And then we are connected to this. If you are going to maximize this one, this is actually this laptop. We are connected remotely. So you can do anything you want to do, like sitting in front of this laptop, but you are in another laptop. So you can see that one computer, this is this computer, and this could be another computer. It doesn't necessarily be a server and a client. It always works with all versions of Windows. You can also do that one. You can also remote desktop this laptop here by doing what we did earlier here. And we are going to try to connect this laptop to this laptop. I'm going here, type remote, like what we have done earlier. Press on remote desktop. The IP address of this one is... 192.168.254.133 and I'm going to connect and then I'm going to put the username and password and then it will prompt the same thing just go for yes and then you can see this one locked out we are connected to this computer so imagine if you can do this one to the computers your servers this remote desktop comes with windows only for other operating system they have their own just request for more videos and I'm going to see you next time. Bye-bye. Subscribe for more videos.